Hi guys, Frank here from Build Your Own, and this is my 2005 Volkswagen New Beetle Turbo. I love this car, I call it my Porsche. I've put a lot of money into it. Uh, new suspension, catalytic converter, lots of work on the engine. But you know what? The last work that I did, I replaced the windshield in this car. And oh, you know, it's been a while since I've done a video on this car, and the issue that this car has been having is that the carpet's been soaking wet. At first it started off on the passenger side and then lately it was basically everything and it was kind of a C in here. I should have did a video then, but I didn't. Uh, I, at first I thought, yeah, it was kind of a coincidence that maybe the, uh, the window had gotten changed at the same time. I did some research. Turns out there's a class action lawsuit against Volkswagen from years ago on this on on the sunroofs leaking it's not that it's not that on this car so we can take a look down here in the sunroof tracks and it's nice and clean i have not cleaned it i've never actually cleaned down in here not one time in all the times i've cleaned and wiped this car so yeah even though there's a known issue with the sunroof leaking on on volkswagens you can do your own research on that i'm pretty sure it was this windshield well, it turns out the same company that did this windshield, they came out and put a new windshield in here, another new windshield, which this one is, and uh, it seems to be drying out in here. Now, I still got some drying out to do. I see that there's some mold going on in the carpet areas down here, so what I really need to do today is just pull the seats out of the car and uh, clean up this mold. There's a nice shot of some mold and I'm pretty sure some chocolate that dropped down here a while ago and I wasn't sure <laughs> where it went. Now I know. So yeah, the carpet actually is drying out. Even though it looks all stained, it's actually really, really dry. So what's going to end up happening to this car long term is I'm going to end up having to pull all this carpet out, which is fine because I like to have this carpet be black. Uh, but for today, I just want to take these seats out and clean under here really good, clean up in here, and just get it as clean as I can. Try to put something on here to neutralize the uh, the uh, the mold that's growing. I'm not driving the car, which works out fine, but I still want to clean it. So seat removal for this 2005 Volkswagen New Beetle, or any Volkswagen around this area era, should be pretty straightforward. There's a couple of uh, 13 millimeter nuts right down here. I think and I think we just have to take these plastic guards off one on this side and then one on the other side of course and then we can slide the seat back and up and then we can take it out so seems pretty straightforward let's see how that works okay so I got all the tools that we need this is a 13 millimeter socket this is a Phillips head screwdriver, and this is just a little pick so I can uh, pick these caps off because underneath here is a Phillips head on each side of these. So we'll use this to pick those ends off, use the Phillips head to unscrew the screws, and then we can slide those off, and then we'll get at those bolts. Okay, so I use this little tool here to pick off those little caps like I said, and oh, look, it's not a Phillips head. It looks to be like a six-pointed star instead of a Phillips head so let me change my tool okay so in here I surely have yep those little uh, star bit tools so let me find the right one okay so if you're using this video to uh, remove the seat out of your Volkswagen let me get a little more specific this is a Torx bit and it was T20 so we got a T20 Torx bit for here and over there so let's get that done okay once you take that uh, that T20 bit Torx bit off or screw off then you can pop this trim piece this trim piece comes right off on this trim piece you want to move it forward and then kind of bring it up because there's a little catch down in there I'm gonna need two hands to do that but I wanted to show you so you don't break that little tab okay so as you can see there's that little tab piece right there that's what you don't want to break it goes down right in there and that'll definitely break off you're gonna have to wrestle this back a little bit it's really stiff but you can move it out of the way a little bit just to get that out so now that that that's out we need to move this seat all the way back and then we can get at those 13 millimeter nuts okay so now I have the seat as far back as it goes I don't know if you can see but right down here in the center there are two 13 millimeter nuts these look like they've never come off they still look like they have the markings from the factory on them so I'm gonna go ahead and take those off 
and then we should be able to get this seat out of here. Okay, so now I've got those two 13 millimeter uh, nuts off. I need to give this seat back a good wiggle so I can break it, so I can break it loose from there, uh, from the front, and then we can get this seat out. So it's kind of like some just some wiggling going on now. Let me show you what I specifically mean. So we can see now where this seat bolted up here. We can see that the bolts right here went through the holes here. So after I unscrewed that, I needed to jiggle this seat back so it would come back from this. And so that's what I meant by jiggle it loose. Now that it's loose, I just need to unhook the connector right there that's probably for the, uh, for the seat warmer. And then we can get the seat out of here. So let me do that. Okay, so as you can see, I have the seat out. The hardest part is actually removing all these connections and you're kind of working upside down. There's lots of different funky, funky connections. This one slides back. So you gotta be real careful. I'm still working on this last one right here. I'm not quite sure how it comes off. So I gotta think about it for a second. I know enough not to just start pulling on it. So once I get this one disconnected, then we'll be in business and I can get this seat out of the car. Okay, I finally figured it out. It wasn't that hard. Now that I've done that once, I'll always know how to do that. So now I can actually clean in here really, really well. Like I said, ultimately, I'm going to replace this carpet. I'm gonna put some black carpet in here. I've wanted to do that anyway. Uh, and I have some other plans, a lot of plans for this car actually. But like I said, for today, it was getting these seats out and cleaning under here. So let's get this all cleaned up and then we'll get over to the other side. Okay, so I got the driver's seat out as well. And as you can see, the driver's side is not nearly as bad as the passenger side was in terms of mold and all that. The carpet, however, obviously the driver's side being sat in and used more often and in a different way, you can see the carpet's all worn through. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean up really good, get that mold, get all this mold taken care of, get that all washed, and I've gotta, I'll shampoo it and clean it and try to neutralize all that and uh, keep it drying. And then I'll also take the time to clean all this, clean all of this down here that you can never reach because it's down in between the seats. I'll clean the seats. I'm gonna clean the back seat. So I'm gonna give the interior a really, really, really good wipe down. Okay guys, I got the Beetle all cleaned up. Let's take a look inside. Yeah, looks really, really, really good. All clean, vacuumed, and FYI, and no, it does not smell in here at all. It didn't even smell like it before. It smells fantastic in here. I put down some some uh, scents and stuff like that to neutralize the odor. It smells really, really good in here. Everything's as clean as it could possibly get. Everything's wiped down. The seats are wiped down and conditioned. I'll show you the seats. Everything looks good over on this side. So honestly, I'm really ready to put the seats back in the car. And here are the seats. Don't they look good? They look fantastic. Other than the wearing on the corner on the driver's side right there, which happens on lots of cars, these seats look fantastic. If you're wondering what products I use to clean the, the seats, I use Tough Stuff and I use this Griot's Leather 3-in-1 Spray. Although the seats are vinyl, I really like uh, Griot's products. I actually use the Griot's Wax to detail this truck and did a video on it. So I will put that link down in the description below. Okay, so only thing left to do is get the seats back installed in the vehicle and then I think we can call this job for the day uh, done. Okay, well the seats are all back in. Uh, everything works, everything's back in, all the pieces, all the trim, everything looks great. The seats work just fantastic. Honestly, the seats were super, super easy to take in and out. This seat has an airbag uh, connector. That was that funky connector that I was talking about earlier. Uh, that one's a little finicky to get back together, but other than that, it was very, very straightforward, super, super easy, very happy with the outcome, real happy. Yeah, everything looks great. Let's just recap why we took the seats out to begin with. Uh, shortly after having the windshield replaced, started noticing that the passenger side was wet it'd be wet up here and it was wet in the back started doing some google searching and it turned out that there was a class action lawsuit against volkswagen back in 2012 for the beetles passats some audis a couple of different uh, a couple of different models and so i thought well it's probably the sunroof but like we saw this sunroof looks great it's dry it doesn't look nasty i've never touched it doesn't mean that there's nothing wrong but it was a, quite a coincidence that as soon as this windshield got replaced all this got wet. 
I bet you, and then they came back out just yesterday and put a brand new windshield in here. I bet you it's all sealed up really good. I bet you there will not be another leak inside this. And here's the thing, it was leaking even when it was sitting still. So, you know, we're still in the rainy season here. And so I will find out, I'll know if uh, if these carpets get wet again, then, then we can pretty much rule out the front window and then we know it's the sunroof. But I'm pretty sure that it was that window that they put in and there must have been a little bit of leak there. At any rate, it looks all good now, fingers crossed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this video helpful on how to remove the seats out of your uh, Volkswagen new Beetle, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the very next video.